What are you reading? Biology. Good. You know what, Dr. Panda? Giant pandas are no longer endangered in the wild, and uh, you guys have been listed as vulnerable since 2016. Yeah, we're well and sound and very popular across the world. Not like you, dinosaurs. <laughs> Only exist in the movie. Unbelievable. The most powerful species that once ruled the world get wiped out from the worst. Ha ha ha! Lucky me! Thanks to China and panda protectors around the world who've done so much to keep us so alive. Congratulations! Your fate has been changed! But not only me. In recent years, a lot of endangered species have been saved. Really? How? By whom? China has strengthened biodiversity, conservation as a national strategy. A lot of endangered species benefited from China's wisdom and efforts. Let's go to the botanical garden and take a look. Okay! You know, there are mainly three kingdoms in biology. Kingdoms of animals, plants, and fungi. They respectively belong to botany, zoology, and microbiology. Today, let's explore what measures and means researchers took to protect the diversity of the species in these three kingdoms and the connections between them. Kingdom of Animal. Rescue green peafowls. This is the green peafowl. Such a miraculous creature. We can't let them disappear. Native to the tropical and subtropical forests of Southeast Asia and Southern China, the green peafowl is under top national level protection in China, listed as endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List of Threatened Species. In China, they only live in Yunnan province and it has a wild population of less than 500 there. In recent years, authorities in Yunnan are beefing up efforts to help revive the endangered group. Guo Ruping and his colleagues are installing infrared cameras to monitor the green peafowl. <laughs> After years of hard work, the population of wild green peafowls has recovered steadily, and there are currently about 555 to 600 in China. Kingdom of Plants Asian Tree Revive do you know which plant is called the panda in botany? I don't know. Manglishestrum sinica. Again? Manglishestrum. Manglishestrum. M A N G. It's the oldest and one of the most threatened magnolia species in the world. Wait, I can't find it on Wikipedia. Oh, don't bother. The tree almost disappeared. At one time, it was reduced to just 10 wild trees. It could go extinct any time. Why? What happened? The Manglishestrum sinicum originated from the Quaternary Ice Age 140 million years ago. It's really tall, about 40 to 50 meters high, like more than 10 floors. In the Han Dynasty, there was a big fire caused by thunder and lightning. The wildfire burned out all the tall trees, and the Manglishustrum sinicum nearly died out in this unexpected natural disaster. Wow, the wildfire tragedy. So can we do something to save them now? Yes, by science and technology. Now in Yunnan, researchers in the Kunming Botanical Garden have taken necessary measures to protect 52 Manglishustrum sinicum in the wild. Yeah, go, go! First, 70% of them have been transplanted into the garden. Then, researchers tried flowering and fruiting them, and they successfully used artificial propagation to breed the second generation. Wow, that's something! They compressed the 40 to 50 meters height 
to four to five centimeters, and they became seedlings in glass bottles. Sun Raibang is a famous researcher who has been studying Manglishastrum sinicum since 2004. He even observed and photographed Manglishastrum sinicum booming in the field many times, which is rarely seen. The team he led has made breakthroughs in artificial propagation technology, ex situ conservation, population reinforcement, and reintroduction of the tree. Shan Kingdom of the Fungi. Seek the invisible. Flowers, flowers in the field. Who's the fairest of them all? We're always amazed by something we can see, but sometimes it's the things that we can't see that make a great impact in nature. Ah, oh, I know what you're talking about. Microbiology, right? Like viruses. Bacteria, fungi, algae. Fungi, for example, are very important to our environment and our daily life. They may become noticeable when fruiting, either as mushrooms or as molds. Yang Zhulang has been studying fungal diversity and molecular evolution for decades. He believes that it is very important for the young generation to understand and participate in biodiversity conservation. He believes that fungus are nature's invisible restorers. Tatsa 才能够继续地繁衍生息 Animals, plants, and the microorganisms together form the main kingdoms of life. They support each other and coexist on the earth.